Oh, hi boys and girls. Pastor Ed here. Uh, we're getting close to Christmas, right? I bet you at home you're you're decorating or you've already decorated and getting ready. Well, Pastor Ed's getting ready here, and I'm having a little bit of a problem. I'm kind of I kind of caught up here with the lights, and um, so maybe you have your tree and maybe put your lights on it and, and put uh, Christmas. Uh, ornaments on there and doing other special things other special decorations maybe mom or grandma uh, or your aunt or somebody is, is baking and thinking of special foods you're gonna eat uh, for Christmas and uh, and it's it's just a lot of work and I'm just bear with me for a second but you know all the things that we do to try to try to get ready for Christmas and here are my my lights and the problem is is when I put them away every year they always they always get tangled up and and it's a real I'm sorry I'm all tangled up here all right. oh boy I'm really tangled up All right, I'm, I'm starting to separate. Well, here's, here's one end, and here's another one. I, I don't think they're unhooked, but let's see. Let me try and see how they work, and then maybe that can, that can help me untangle them a little bit. Uh-oh. Let me try the other one. fell off the table. I've got them plugged in. They're not working. Well, sometimes that happens. Sometimes the lights don't work. And sometimes the things that we do don't work in life. And some of our preparations aren't enough. But really, when you think about it, Christmas is not about us. It's not about our decorations. It's not about our lights, whether we can get them to work or they don't work. Looks like I'm going to have to go out and buy some new ones. But the light of Christmas is not the lights that we put on our Christmas tree. It's not the lights we put on our house that people could see at night uh, when they drive by. There's a different light. The Gospel of John tells us that the, the light of the world was coming. And John the Baptist came to tell us about him. So let me read. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. The true light. Not our Christmas trees, not the lights we put on our house. It's Jesus. Jesus was the light of the world, is the light of the world. That's who John came uh, to tell was coming. That's who John reminds us each and every year that Christ is coming into the world again. We celebrate his first coming in Bethlehem as a baby, and we celebrate and anticipate that he will come again. Jesus, the light of the world. Let's pray. Oh God, you sent your son into the world to be the light of the world to enlighten our ways and our paths so that we could walk in your way, so that we could follow you in faithful lives. Help us to prepare and be ready for Jesus when he comes, both now at Christmas and at the end of time. Help us to follow his way and follow his light. In his holy name we pray, amen. Well, we'll see you next week, boys and girls. Take care, bye-bye.